Well, uh, yesterday I put up a video or a picture of a panhard bar that was that had uh, a wrong heim joint on there, and uh, that was on this end down here. Let me flip the camera around and kind of show you what I'm doing to this panhard bar. So the panhard bar on the customer's car had a little bit of movement, and when we took the bar off, this was the heim joint they had on there, and that is actually the same size bolt they had. And I was like, wow, that's that's doesn't fit. So, of course, we changed it to a correct size Heim joint, threaded it right in, and we left their their bung in there. And then at the other end, there was no adjustment on here. It was a you know, standard panhard bar like you see most companies produce. Um, so what we did is we cut it off, and uh, I had made a quick jig, is what I'd done, and as I had welded a bolt on that side and a bolt on this side, so it was the exact same length as the panhard bar started as. And then what I did is, uh, trimmed the tube after cutting the end off, trimmed the tube back to the location you see. And of course, I use this kind of a bung. It's a nice bung. It has a, a um, that section that slips inside the tube and then it's threaded all the way through. But as you see here, without the jam nut, we're okay with the jam nut. We're actually out of threads. So we're gonna actually move, cut this back another 250 thousandths, quarter of an inch, whatever you wanna call it. And then we'll get our jam nut and what I will do is I'll weld, I'll cut, drill a hole here, drill a hole on the other side, and I'll plug weld to hold the bung in place. And then I'll run my bead around, around the tube and bung. Pretty simple. So two new ends, a little bit of cut work, and a uh, new bung. And then we have a fully adjustable rear panhard bar. And then we'll get to some more parts. That is a little bit of project for the next hour or so.